Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Happy, happy, happy Saturday. It is Saturday. It's a wonderful day for me anyway, I guess, you know. Um, thank you everybody yesterday for all your wishes, um, <clears throat> your private messages. Thank you so much, it meant a lot to me. And um, I managed to get through the day. I'm making myself a cup of tea because <clears throat> I'm giving my coffee maker a rest. It has been every day having a pot of coffee for like the whole week since I, you know, upped in and repurchased my coffee maker. But it is working out wonderful. It really is. <clears throat> but I just decided today to have a, a cup of tea instead. And yesterday, I'm laying off the coffee. I guess you could say I'm laying off the caffeine, probably. That may be. I did dig out because it is the month of June, I consider this to me celebrating the whole entire month of Stitch. Yes, he does deserve to be celebrated. And 626 day, which is June 26th, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a great day. I did get dug out my Stitch sneakers, which I forgot about, to be honest. And these are my Stitch sneakers. Aren't these the cutest? These are from Primark. They don't have this style anymore. They do have other Stitch styles, but they don't have this one anymore. This, this brand was going for, this style was going for $22. It was a celebration. Like I said, they always have to stick the 100 year celebration on everything now. So I'm glad I'm going to be taking the tags off today and I want to wear him for the whole entire month of June. I'm going to give it a good shot. <clears throat> I'm trying to take apart my stitch jewelry I purchased the other day. It's a three chain set. It's three separate chains, which I, which I think is pretty cool. You know, I wear chains. I do layer some chains, but they have been so annoying to separate. And as you notice, I don't have them. I'm not wearing them now because I finally got them separated. And I said, that's it. You guys are going off for a while. So I'm going to see if I can separate those. I want to see if I can wear one today. Um, what else? Disney news. I think it's funny. I think it's also stupid, but again, it wouldn't be Disney if they didn't do something stupid. I think it's stupid rules, I, and I don't know why can't you. It's it's ridiculous. A Disney vlogger was on TikTok, of course, and these things always get reported. Everything seems to be coming lately from TikTok. I have a TikTok account. I have not been on there in seven, six to seven years. My account is totally blank. I don't even have a picture on there. That's how that's how bad it is. I just don't know much about it. In certain states, they were banning the use of TikTok apps. They were actually banning the use of them. And I think that is that's a great idea because social media is just a bunch of wackadoodle. I mean, you got you got worse things on Instagram. You got Twitter. Twitter is like, forget it. But I love my Twitter account. It depends on, you know, social media could be used as a great tool. It could also be used as a dangerous tool, which we have seen. It could also be used for malicious tool, you know, as we have also seen. I use my stuff for good. I use it for the good. I use it to connect to people. I use it for my good videos here. You know, I, I interact with people and they're good people and I like to keep it that way. Um, I will uh, say that I had put a post on my Instagram page that my people will know of, um, People um, pretending to be someone and then switching their account and then you really find out what, they're, what they are and that's not good. Um, I don't like it. I don't allow it. And I keep on top of my accounts and I keep on top of my pages and those people will be delinquished if I you know, see them and I will get rid of them as soon as I can, which I have done. That's why I put that post up. Um, please go somewhere else because you you really are not wanted on my page. This is this is my Instagram page. I have two pages. I explain this. One is a Disney page. One is my home, my own personal page for friends, family, musicians. I'm a music fan. My husband is a musician, so I like my pages kept the way I like them. Okay, and I protect uh, my friends and my families on my pages and my Disney family on my Disney page. So it's, it's, you guys are not welcome. You know, it's just not happening. Take it somewhere else. Um, so I did that. Now getting back to the Disney situation, there was a post that was on Disney, Disney dining. And I don't know why they're posting things like that. Disney dining to me should be a website just for like, you know, Disney foods, 
um, restaurants, things like that, anything edible. But they post, they also post stupid things. But this video, uh, this this story caught my eye because it's true. I mean, but but I don't understand why can't you? Um, Disney creates their own rules. We know this. I think it's just a stupid. It's a stupid little rule. Uh, maybe they'll change it now. Who knows? Maybe they'll change it if enough people come out and show their anger. Maybe they'll change it. Um, woman TikToker vlogger um, had an experience. Jasmine is walking around the parks. Now I don't know if this is Disneyland, Disney World. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. The the characters are now walking around the parks. They started it in Disneyland. So I think Disney World is starting to do it little by little, and that's fine. I think they should have. Um, since the pandemic, mind you, after the pandemic. So this vlogger approaches Jasmine. Now, you know with the characters, they have a, um, a cast member assistant standing with them. You know, God forbid, in case anything, whatever, whatever. Um, the vlogger approaches her, and Jasmine is interacting with this vlogger's children. And the vlogger hands her and, you know, puts out an autograph book. So Jasmine is kind of like ignoring the autograph book. She's ignoring it. She looks at the cast member. The cast member is going, no. For reasons. Um, the reason was explained. So, of course, it winds up on TikTok. And, you know, Disney becomes the mean, the mean girls of the video. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of, I kind of agree with this. And the agreement is, is that it was, now the vlogger, there's, there's a little bit misconception there. The vlogger claims that the cast member, you know, she was a person and she asked why cast member says, well, we're not, that, the, the autograph books are solely for meet and greet online experiences. They won't sign anything if they're walking through the park. It, this is like a sticky situation. It's iffy. Um, I don't see the reason why they can't. So then the cast member, the vlogger claims that the cast member says it takes away um, the magic experience for other people. Um, here's the thing, what the vlogger didn't show. And this is where it gets iffy. So this is where I go. Mm, yeah, okay. Because I don't believe. Now, if you have a video, you want to show the whole thing. So the vlogger claims she didn't get that on video. But the vlogger claims that a few minutes before, as Jasmine, before Jasmine was in this person's area, she was, she was signing something for another person. Was it true or not? We don't know. Because the vlogger don't have proof of it. But yet she came out and said it. That's iffy. Did it happen? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Maybe the vlogger just said that to aggravate the situation because she was turned down of her autograph. Okay. Fair. Understandable. But I'm saying, like, I think it's a stupid, stupid, ridiculous rule. Why can't the person just sign the autograph? You're giving an experience. that You know what? Uh, taking away the magic. I don't think you're taking away the magic. I think you would be adding to the magic. And just being turned down in a place in front of the character, you know, the character is turning it down, but your assistant is making the character turn it down. I just think it's ridiculous. You could have added to the magic, Disney. Just why can't that happen? It's so ridiculous. It, your, your little rules sometimes totally stink. They really do. That was so ridiculous. So ridiculous. I just think they should have just signed the autograph. See now, because you gave that vlogger, Disney, now see, this is where I blame Disney. Disney just gave that vlog a cause to post that and show that Disney is being mean. I mean, they're in enough hot water as it is, I'm considering. Why add to the problem? But that's what a vlogger does, okay? They add to the situation. So my child, we had a bad experience because she wouldn't sign the autograph. You do see that in that video. But as per saying that, oh, well, no, she was just signing something over there just before she came over to me. Now, you don't have that on proof. So now you just said that. You just threw a little gas on the fire. Okay. Did you say it out of anger? Maybe you did. Maybe you were pissed off. That's kind of understandable in a way. But if you ain't got proof of it, 
personally, somebody like me probably wouldn't believe that. But, you know, it was turned down. So, eh, you know, I don't understand. Now, Disney has not let, not come out with any statements as per the situation from the May 30th situation at the Bippity Boppity Boutique. They haven't come out and said anything yet. I, I don't know what's up with that. And the statement that they did give, as I said during my video, that on my in my New York Post newspaper was a statement about a situation from 2020. So that was the statement that they gave out to some of the reporters. <laughs> I don't know, folks. I don't know. But anyway, I want to say happy June. Today is my cat Winnie's birthday. June 3rd. He was born June 3rd, 1980. And I remember these things because this was my cat. This was my baby. I've had my, my parents. I grew up in a family that had animals all the time. Dogs, cats. I've had fish. I've had birds. I had a beautiful parakeet when I was about five years old. Um, hamsters. I had, I had a hamster. Um, we've had dogs, cats, and you name it. It was like, my house was like, kind of, at times it was Noah's Ark, okay? But it was a good experience for me to, you know, I think all children should have the experience to take care of a living pet and, you know, to have that responsibility. Um, sometimes a lot of parents now, they, they bring the dogs, the cats back to the shelter. They can't do it. The kid ain't taking care of it. So then they threaten the kid. You don't feed that dog anymore. I'm going to take it back to the shelter. Or I'm going to give the dog away. You know, that's that's heartless to do to an animal. Okay. Um, but my cat, Winnie, I was 13 years old. Cute little story. That he was born June 3rd, 1980. I was notified from my friend because my friend's cat was having kittens. My friend's cat had three kittens. He was born during the wee last hours of Saturday night into the wee hours of Sunday morning. So I got the call. The cats are here. I ran to my friend's home. I picked my cat out right from there. I got a chance to hold him. Little, little, little baby squeaky, squeaky, squeaky thing. I mean, I was with him from the beginning of his birth to eight weeks later when he was delivered to my home. My friend brought him in a shopping bag into, into my home. I took care of him and he was my baby. Winnie was named after Winnie the Pooh. Yes, he was but not spelt in that way. My Winnie the Pooh, my Winnie was W-H-I-N-N-I-E. I don't know. I had just had to be different, folks. I always had to be different. I'm still, I'm still kind of different as a guy. It's like being extra. Okay, I was extra even back then as a kid. W h i n n i e. He was a beautiful, beautiful part tabby. He was my best friend from the age of 13. He lived to be 15 and a half years old. He developed many, many years before I did. However, they always say that the owners, like the cat, becomes, you know mimics kind of the the owner but he had it first before me he developed a thyroid condition he was a beautiful muscular in his prime he was 23 pounds he was amazing it wasn't fat it was all muscle when he walked you saw his muscles go and my we had a female vet she says if he was a guy she said he would be ripped. He would have pecs. She said he would be hot. I said, so there you go. We both agreed to this. He would be a hot, you know, if the cat was a guy, he'd be hot. Okay. Um, but he was my baby and he was my responsibility. His cat went everywhere. I would, you know, he would talk to me and everything. It, it was, you know, it was a part. when my husband, when I was going out with my husband and my husband was my boyfriend, my husband took to this cat. My husband never had any other animals besides a fish. Um, he never experienced dogs or cats or anything. So my cat was his kind of first um, animal to experience. I mean, he just, he bonded. My cat was very friendly, but my cat bonded with him, you know, because I guess he knew, well, you know, this is mom's boyfriend. So I guess I have to, you know, you know, she's, he's going to be here a lot. So I guess I could hang out with him too. You know, it was just one of those things. We also had other animals in the family as well, but this was solely my cat, Winnie. Um, Winnie developed the thyroid condition. Um, I want to say three years before, which he did have to take a pill every day. It was, it was, it was ironic that years later, I developed a thyroid condition after he passed away. I just think that's so strange. Um, 
Anyhow, he had his little autoimmune disease. He also developed a tumor on his rib, which that's where I was concerned more. Um, doctor says, you wanted me to take a biopsy. I says, you know what? No, he is getting up there in age. Um, he had his good days and bad days with his thyroid, just like I do. You know, autoimmune disease, even in an animal, is not is not good. So um, 15, 15 and a half, it was 13 days after New Year's, um, I decided to make the decision because um, at that time he started vomiting and, and everything. You know, good days and bad, then he wouldn't eat. <clears throat> I knew that there was something more wrong with this and I made the call to the vet and it says, uh, I'm going to bring him in. And it was on a Saturday that, uh, that I brought him in and said my goodbyes to him. And, you know, I was with him coming into the world and I was with him going, leaving the world. So that was, that was my baby, but I would never let an animal suffer or anything. I just knew that there was no more, that it was not going to get any better. And I uh, made my decision to, you know, let Winnie cross the, cross the bridge. And I just want to say happy birthday to you that um, I have Winnie with me, always did bought his beautiful box for him and I also have uh, another pet in here which is his friend Ivory. Ivory was a cat that my mother and father hardly ever refused any animals. Uh, the neighbor had brought, <coughs> excuse me, the neighbor had brought a cat from upstate New York, brought it down back down to the city. The neighbor says you know the cat may seem deaf so me and my cat, me and my mother was playing with the cat. The neighbor brings the cat over to the house. Well, it turns out the cat never left my house. The cat stayed. And he was about six months old. We're picturing him about six months old when we got him. And um, yeah, we wound up with Ivory. So Ivory and Winnie are both here. Ivory passed away a f quite a few years after Winnie did, <clears throat> even though Winnie was older. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and they are both still with me today and happy happy birthday Winnie and and God bless Ivory as well so you know I do keep my animals um, he is stored away in a drawer but he is still with me even today does anybody have that with their pets um, any you know pet stories or um, do you save your pets do you know do you do you dedicate something to your pets as well you know i do and you know animals are our fur babies as you say i haven't had an animal in a long time it's, it's like over 20 years since i've owned a pet and you know like if my husband were to retire in the next few years you know because he's you know he's discussing that that uh, thing now but he still has a few years to do it um would he like a pet he would he was always talking about uh, a little dog or something you know and it's you know it's it's i says that's no, <laughs> no problem with me you get no problem with me on that um that's i would definitely welcome one again but uh, i don't think i would want a cat i think i would want a dog and the reason you know also we have to understand that um if you're still traveling to Disney, but my husband was. I said, you know, you have to take that also into consideration. You know, I don't want to leave my animals with just anybody or to take the animal with us. It would have to be very small, you know? <clears throat> so that's something also to consider. Right now you have a little bit more freedom because we don't have an animal, you know? And you don't have that responsibility to worry about or anything. It's just one of those things. All right, so I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna have my tea, and I'm gonna cut the tags off of my stitch sneakers, and I'm going to see if I can unravel the chain portion of this and wear one of those chains today, and possibly a pair of the earrings that match. <laughs> so that's gonna be some of my project for today. I'll probably go out, go out to Primo. It's, it's 9.03 a.m. right now. It's not gonna be a great day, but Maybe go out and have some lunch or something just to get out. All right, people. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. If anything else happens, I'll pop back on. There's always that chance. Maybe something exciting will happen. Who knows? Whatever. I'm always open to all these things. All right, people. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be safe out there. God bless you. Love to all. Bye-bye.